kansalaiset vuosisadat ovat osoittaneet, että paikalla, minkä kohtalo on kansallemme antanut, ei pysyväistä rauhaa ole voitu saavuttaa. Idän paine on aina ollut meitä vastassa. Tämän paineen helpottamisessa, ikuisen uhkan hävittämisessä, tulevien sukupolvien onnelliseen ja rauhallisen elämän turvaamisessa, me nyt käymme taistelua. Ja meillä on tällä kertaa ehkä paremmat mahdollisuudet onnistumiseen kuin kenties milloinkaan ennen. Kohtalon Herra, jota käsissä kansamme elämä on, johdattako meitä ja vieköön taistelumme lopulliseen poistoon. Hello, today we are playing Hearts of Iron 4, Waking the Tiger as Democratic Finland. I am using Finlandia Focus 3 mod, which is at the moment my favorite mod, considering Finland. So, let's start with Remedy Old Wounds Focus. This will give us um, political power, stability and war support. Next I will start producing infantry weapons and some support equipment. Some convoys as well. As for the research, let's go with the basic industrial stuff. Finland starts with very little civilian factories, so I will build one civilian factory and then I will concentrate on some those military factories. I'm gonna give all my troops under the command of Erik Heinrich and then I will give him the trade winter expert so my troops will get better in the cold climate. Now let's get silent workhorse and also a new focus. I'm going to get debate new tactics so that I can get this national defense university which gives, gives us one extra research slot. It's time to give Erik adaptable trade. And now for the extra research slot. Now that I have some army experience, I'm gonna edit my divisions a little bit. And as for the research, let's go with the mechanical computing. For now, let's go with prepare for the elections focus. It will give us some extra political power. And I believe now it's time to research some land doctrines. I think I'm going to choose the Grand Battle Plan Doctrine for the extra entrenchment bonus. And now we should go down the Democratic Focus path. I will also research anti-air guns because they are cheaper to produce than regular artillery. Let's get also military theorist. Support democracy. And with that focus done, we can hold the national referendum and become a democratic country. Now our new leader is Ristoriti. Now let's go for Sword of Liberty focus. It's time to add Recon Company to my infantry divisions. And now that we have one extra military factory, let's start producing anti-air guns. Let's also start producing basic artillery. And now it's time to build forts in the best strategic locations in Finland. It is also possible to hold the entire front against the Soviet Union, but these few locations will save us a lot of manpower. That should do it for now. Now I will go for equipment effort so that I can get Molotov cocktail focus soon and that will give us a boost to researching those anti-tank things. Panzerfaust, whatever. I will also slowly recruit new units and I want to have at least 48 divisions before Soviet Union attacks. The Soviets usually attack in 19... 
1939 or 1940. I suppose I could start placing units into their positions. Let's put fallback line here. And another fallback line here. Heinrich can hold this area. And also this one. We got infantry anti-tanks researched this early thanks to our Molotov cocktail focus. I need few more men to guard this river. And maybe I should train some reserve divisions to guard our ports from the Soviet naval invasions. If they happen, they might not. But I will do it later. For now I must focus on the actual front lines or fallback lines. I'm also going for fortification focuses so we will have very good defenses. Now is the time to train those reserve divisions. And I will create a third army to help with guarding this northern river. Well, here it is, the molotov ribbentrop Pact. Now the Soviet Union have claims on our territory. And now that we have these fallback lines created, we are pretty strong on defense. Let's get some anti-air stuff. I will add now artillery as a support company to my divisions. So the Soviet Union is justifying a war goal against us, so this is it. Now witness the power of this fully armed and operational Finnish army. And here it is, the Russians demand Karelia, and I will say to them, let them come if they dare. The Republic of Finland rejects Soviet demands. Well, it is 1940 and the Soviets still haven't invaded, which is nice, because I can still get more guns and that kind of stuff. I'm hoping that my good relations with Sweden will come in handy later, because when the Winter War uh, begins, they might send us some volunteers and some guns, and if I'm very lucky, they will also join the war. But then again, they might refuse to do all of those things. 
and here you can see that I have many forts, many come, came by focuses, but I have also built some. Finally, the war should begin. Yeah, great. Now I am fairly certain that I am able to hold the line. And I will immediately increase my conscription law. Well, well, well. United Kingdom wants me to join their faction. But to be honest, I don't really want to. If I'm to join any faction, it will be the Axis, even if I am a democratic country. We even actually have focus for that. And here's the event to ask help from Sweden. Let's hope they will accept. I have very good relations with them and I am a democratic country, so I am... Oh, well, I hope that they will accept. The Soviets naval invaded all and big deal. Oh, and the Swedes refused to help us. Thanks. At least the battles are green, which is nice. And their shock tactics have failed. Overall, so far, so good. Now I will lose to Northern Finland, which is sad, because I have some steel production there, but we can manage this. By looking at the casualties, you can see that the war is going pretty well for us. Alright, new event. Peace negotiations with Soviet Union. And there's an option to surrender, because we couldn't win this war even though we can. That would mean some losses, land losses, but I will keep fighting. I will launch the counterattack when the Axis joins this war. And since we are inflicting so many casualties to Soviet Union, I'm hoping for that German Reich will have an easy conquest on them. Of course, I will try to also capture as much land as I can. Oh, they are doing war with the USSR right now. Interesting. Excellent. Axis joined the war. It seems that I can only join Axis if I have lost Karelia, which I don't want to do. But that's alright. We don't need a faction. Volunteers from the United States. Gladly accepted. I'm gonna improve my relations with them. Maybe they will send me more volunteers. Let's ask military access from the German Reich. And new guns are ready. Here are the new casualties. Soviet Union have lost all, over a million soldiers. We are still holding quite well against the Soviet Union. And soon it will be time to attack them. All right, now I will create front lines for each army. Attack somewhere here. This army will go to Leningrad.
all the orders are now ready. Let's just wait for some planning bonuses. Soviets have lost over 2 million soldiers now. Okay, so now it's time to strike. Let's change our military staff from defense to attack. We will join our forces with the German Reich. Let's try to pocket them. We are steadily reclaiming our lost territory. Also, we managed to create a small pocket here. We are almost in Leningrad and that will give us a lot of military factories. There we go, Leningrad has fallen. And with this mod we can stabilize some regions from Soviet Union and make them our core states. And that will give us a lot of manpower. We are expanding beyond our borders. Northern Finland is almost secured, then we will go for the Murmansk region. Interesting, this is a new event for me. Perhaps I got this because I am not in a faction. And basically it seems that we can get peace with the old borders, or we can continue the war and we shall do that. We can stabilize more regions now. Hmm, they actually managed to surround us. Well, I mean one division. Let's immediately try to release them. Because when you are playing as a Finland, then every single division is important to you. Here's the new kill count. Now we have separated Murmansk from the rest of the Soviet Union. Overall the war is going pretty great. We are closing in Moscow and the Axis are doing also quite well. And we have taken Moscow from the Soviet Union. It's a shame that we don't get any event from that like we did in Leningrad. Here is a nice little pocket waiting to be destroyed. Soviet Union is very close to capitulation. That's it, they have fallen. Now I will try to get as much land as I can. Some of these states are so expensive because German Reich got an annexation focus for Soviet Union. So I will try to get at least a cheap ones. So this was the best I could do.
and for some reason United Kingdom have one region in the German Reich. But uh, Republic of Finland looks pretty nice overall. It expanded quite a bit. But then, well, I suppose this is it. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like. Bye bye.